Yo, what's up? It's Yo Remy, and I'm back. So if you're new to this channel, definitely stick around. I do a lot of videos on building startups, operating startups, and even some on angel investing on the other side of the table. But in this video, I wanna talk about something, and that is the no-code movement. So I'm gonna jump into it, but first I wanna say something. I'm actually gonna do something new and try a giveaway. So at the end of the video, I'm actually gonna give away a free membership to MakerPad. So all you have to do is comment below, but you have to watch till the end to see what that comment is. So stick around. So let's get into it. So what is no code? You might have seen it on Twitter or other places. It's referred to as no code or without code, just different kind of naming conventions for right now. But basically what it is, is it is a movement of these tools and platforms that basically allow you to take your idea to startup and using minimal time and resources and no technical development required. Also, I do wanna mention that there are a lot of prolific makers in this space and founders of some of these tools and basically just others leading the way that kind of pushing the movement of no code. So let's just give a quick kind of shout out to some of those. So the first is Ben Tossel, who is actually the founder of MakerPad. So he's probably one of the most uh, prolific no code makers right now. Um, another uh, that's actually part of the MakerPad team is, is Tom. Uh, there's Vlad, who's the founder of Webflow, Yuho, uh, who's the founder of ShareTribe, which I've actually covered a lot in my other videos, and then Toby, the founder of Shopify. So of course, Shopify is a no-code platform that you all probably have heard of. So now that we've kind of mentioned some of those and we've kind of briefly mentioned no code uh, as far as what it is, I kind of want to dive into that a little bit more. So as I mentioned, no code allows you to take your idea using minimal time and resources to a live product very quickly. So those products can be job boards, they can be community-based kind of websites. Um, they can also be marketplaces, which of course most of my videos are on, uh, simple web apps, even some kind of lightweight SaaS tools. So those are different kind of things that you can build. Now, typically in the past, you would uh, have to hire developers, uh, even some designers too, um, and this could take you literally six months and anywhere from $50,000 all the way up to over $100,000. And so you'd either build, build a team internally of, the, of those designers and developers or outsource it to an agency. Uh, and it, so it was very costly to take your idea to a live product. So along with that, you're making a lot of assumptions, right? Saying, hey, I think I know what I'm gonna build here and I'm gonna hire someone and pay a lot of money and invest this in it. And then I'll get the product that I need and be able to take it to market and focus on marketing it, get user feedback validation and iterate on that and improve it based off real user feedback, right? So using no code allows you basically to kind of jump ahead of that and use minimal time and resources. And honestly, some of these tools, you can literally spend a few hours or a day at most and take your idea to a live product and go ahead and focus all your time and resources now on how do you effectively market that product that you've built to real users, get some real feedback and validation on your concept, see if you've actually built something that people want to use and hopefully want to pay for, and then quickly iterate on that and improve your product still using minimal time and resources. So that's a little bit about no code. Um, and then also what it allows you to do. So in short, it allows you to basically use minimal time and resources and get your product to market faster, get real users, focus on the marketing and the feedback that matters and scaling from there. It also allows you to operate with a solo founder capacity. So you don't have to hire a full team of designers and developers. So what that actually means is that as you launch your product without code, using some of these different tools that I'll actually kind of cover towards the end of the video, you can actually operate it yourself as a solo founder and not have to spend on monthly costs that are associated with having a full development team, designers, and then also paying the typical infrastructure costs that come with custom software development. So that's actually a new kind of trend now is with these emerging tools and platforms that allow you to quickly take your idea to live product and launch 
we're seeing more solo founders, right? So what that also means is that if you're looking to start something, say for instance, a marketplace, you can actually just sign up for ShareTribe. So another plug for ShareTribe, and I'll put a link down here below. It is an affiliate link, so it kind of helps me to keep making these videos, but I love ShareTribe. Um, they don't pay me to, to any kind of sponsorship or anything. I just love their platform since I love marketplaces, but you could literally sign up for ShareTribe and you could take your idea and within 30 minutes to an hour, have a live marketplace. So with that means that you can do that yourself and that simply comes with investing the time and the learning of how these platforms operate and then how you can customize it for your needs, which in this case could be a marketplace. So for instance, an Airbnb style marketplace, a Fiverr style marketplace, um, other kind of style marketplaces that are out there uh, for products, goods, or services you can build without code using minimal time and resources. So that's another benefit of not just being able to take your idea to a live product very quickly using minimal time and resources, but also being able to do that yourself. So you as a solo founder can learn through that process, which helps you refine your, your idea or your concepts, taking it to a product yourself. So with that also comes the ability to operate very lean for a continued period of time. So something you might be asking yourself is, sounds great. So I can basically take my idea to a live startup using minimal time and resources. But what are some examples of these different tools that I can use and then what I can actually build with them? So that's a great question. So we're just gonna cover some of the more popular tools. But the first is Shopify. So you probably all have heard of Shopify. Um, it's a very large company now, kind of at scale, but they led the way. I think they've been around for over 10 years. Um, and they've led the way for e-commerce. So Shopify is just one great example of if you're looking to build out an e-commerce online store, then you can leverage their platform using little to no code and take that to a live store. Now another is Webflow. So I haven't really discussed Webflow that much in my videos, um, but MakerPad, which I've uh, mentioned in the very beginning and I'm actually gonna do this giveaway kind of at the end, uh, MakerPad covers a lot on Webflow and MakerPad was actually built on top of Webflow itself. So that's a great example you can see. So it's a great community kind of mark, uh, community platform for no code makers. So they have a lot of tutorials, they have a community kind of forum on there, they kind of have like uh, user generated content on there. And that's a great example, um, of course, that Ben Tossel built uh, using Webflow. And just so you can go check it out, and the link once again will be down below, so you can see what is possible building on top of Webflow. So another type of business you could build on Webflow is a job board. Um, you could build like a product hunt style kind of community upvote site. Um, you could build uh, membership based sites. Uh, say for instance, if you uh, are a content creator or offer something that you wanna charge memberships for, you can definitely use Webflow for that um, without code to take your idea to a live product um, that you can then take to market. So another tool that I did kind of mention earlier, and I do mention in all my other videos, is ShareTribe. So ShareTribe, once again, is a kind of marketplace platform. So you could uh, sign up for ShareTribe Go and build an Airbnb style marketplace uh, for spaces, a Fiverr style marketplace for services, or for instance, you could build like an Etsy style grailed, uh, grailed app kind of style or goat app kind of style marketplace, which of course is for product sales. Um, so that's another example. Uh, some others to mention that are out there that are uh, getting quite popular are Bubble, um, Glide, and then some tools to kind of work on the integration side uh, is Zapier. So that's another one that's out there. Um, Airtable, which is great for kind of building databases. I actually did a tutorial um, on my YouTube channel of building a kind of directory style uh, web app using Airtable. Um, another one is Card and then Instapage. So I've also done other tutorials, so you can check them out. I'll link down below to some of those tutorials. But those are just great examples of some of the tools uh, that you can use to basically take your idea and build different types of products as I just gave some examples of using no code. Now, if you made it this far, then hopefully you found some value out of the video and we'll subscribe, but now's the time for the giveaway. So the way to win this is you can simply hit the like button on this video, comment below. So comment no code below in the comments here on YouTube and then share on Twitter. So that way we'll get some, hopefully a little bit more visibility on this. A lot of the no code community lives on Twitter all day long. So that's a great place to share it there. 
Um, what I will do is I will pick one person for sure, probably actually a few, because uh, MakerPad's an amazing, um, I think, amazing resource for, for no-code makers. So I'll probably pick a few, but what I'll do is I will give you a free membership to MakerPad. So what that will give you is that will give you access to MakerPad, which has amazing tutorials, um, it has amazing discounts for some of these tools, pretty much all the tools that I actually kind of covered and mentioned. Uh, it has a community of other makers, so you can engage with them and share some of your projects, get some tips and whatnot. So I'm actually part of that community. So by entering this, hopefully winning and signing up, then you'll actually have access to me and you can message me there and I actually will reply to you. Just mention that you saw the YouTube video and enter this kind of giveaway and I'll make sure I reply to you all and even check out what you built and give you some tips and kind of uh, pointers on those kind of no code projects. So once again, the way to enter this giveaway that I'm just trying out for the first time, comment below. So we'll first like this video, comment below, no code in the comments, share on Twitter, and then I'll pick one person, probably a few people, and give you a free membership to MakerPad. Also, subscribe to this video, or subscribe to my channel, because I try to keep making these videos and, and do as many as I can. So that keeps me motivated. Hit the like button, and then also comment below if you have any questions on anything. I'll try to answer those below. Until next one, see ya.